Hi, I'm Chris Haig and this is the Fiddle Channel. Today I'm going to give you two versions of the Golden Eagle Hornpipe. Now, hornpipes are very interesting tunes to play. They originated as solo men's dances a long, long time ago. Uh, I believe in Henry VIII's time they were being danced on ships. And they were ideal for dancing on ships because uh, basically you just dance up and down on the spot. So there wasn't a lot of room on a ship. And um, this was a, a way that guys could show off to one another. So everyone would gather around in a circle and someone would dance the hornpipe. And it's all about the footwork, and they, they play quite a lot slower than reels, and they allow their foot to go that kind of thing, and that finds its way into the rhythm of the tune. So there's usually a lot of triplets, and the line often ends um, that kind of thing, which is again the stamping of the feet. In this case, the, the, that ending has been disguised to something a bit more like that. Um, hornpipes, uh, modern hornpipes, meaning 19th century hornpipes, tend to be a lot more complicated in their structure than um, reels or jigs, in that they very often have arpeggios, which this does a lot, and they have chords which are more adventurous, uh, which go outside of the normal um, simple chords and that's one of the reasons that this is an interesting one. This is very widely played um, particularly in Ireland and also in America and I'm going to uh, give you a different version um, for the American style but we're going to start off with the Irish and I'll start off with the the most simple version of the tune and then we'll add a few little ornaments. Uh, so I'll count you in. Uh, we're going to go da 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 at that kind of speed. One, two, three. <laughs> interesting and difficult parts to this. So let's start off with the opening triplet. Uh, I think that all of these triplets should be played with separate bows. They could be played, they could be played slurred which is a lot easier and a lot smoother but um, a whole pipe is not really meant to be smooth. So uh, nice uh, short bows right down at the heel. And we've got an unexpected triplet there. Um, now here we've got a bit of a chromatic thing. So, which is something pretty rare in Irish music. Two triplets. And then same again. So 
now we move to the chord of B7, which is a real rarity. So fourth finger and uh, second, uh, third finger stretched up to give a D sharp. And here we've got a uh, the D sharp again. And this is an A chord. Now here we've got a high C coming up. So you can go into third position. First finger, third finger. And I would slide down there. C, it could be played with your fourth finger stretched, and I got I copied my version of this tune from Fergal Scarhill, who has a very nice uh, video, so, a solo fiddle video uh, of this tune, and he plays uh, three, four, and he just slides his fourth finger up. So if you've never played third position in your life, as many uh, traditional Irish players haven't, then that's one thing you might do. Um, that one note is the, uh, a real rarity um, in that 99% of Irish traditional tunes don't go into third position. Uh, so you've got the high C which makes all the difference. Um, there's a couple more interesting versions. Um, Frankie Gavin with the Dannon does a very nice version with a rhythm that is almost a kind of a Django rhythm. So let's try this again uh, a little bit faster and we'll do it with the backing. <laughs> to this is that a lot of the F notes and G notes I've got double cuts which is to say for the for an F you play an F G F and for a G you play a G A G so um, just going into that here
Now, moving on to the American version. Uh, what very often happens with hornpipes when they go to America is they get straightened out. Uh, so, whereas the Irish hornpipe has got a very distinct da -ka -do -ka -da -ka -do -ka. Da -ba -da -ba -da. Um, in, our, in America they tend to be played faster and smoother and more even. Um, and we're also going to get rid of all of the all of those. Uh, we're going to have a few triplets, um, but the, now they're going to be slurred. And these are uh, not triplets. Cuts have disappeared. It's still got a slight bit of swing. So if you were to play all of these notes with swing, da -ga -da -ga -da -ga -da, then you'd end up moving towards a tip. And so a good pattern to have is to do separate bows and then three slurred. That kind of thing. Um, and it's, it's going to be played faster and smoother. So we'll do that again at a uh, steady tempo and then we'll try it up to speed. American versions of this are by Casey Willis and Daryl Anger, uh, both of whom play it fairly fast and um, with a slight swing. And Daryl Anger does a great solo on it as well. This is a, this kind of tune is good for contest playing because it's flashy. It's it's a good one for showing off technique and smoothness, and so it fits nicely into the kind of Texas swing feel. So let's try it a couple of times more up to speed to finish. Uh, if you want a copy of the dots of the two versions, um, then subscribe, send me an email and I'll be happy to send them to you. Thanks for watching and see you again soon.